Hello and welcome to your over enthusiastic game guide. I'm Sarah Dan, and this guide will be taking you on a mystical journey, solving lots of little secrets. Some of them are really quite hard to believe that someone actually figured them out. It, you'll see what I mean in a wee bit. But completing all of these tasks, we get ourselves a new mount. A lucid nightmare. If I were you, I'd prepare a coffee. Or maybe an espresso. This could be a long one. So to obtain this mount, we need to locate all clues and complete all tasks. That way you'll unlock the box. Okay, so let's start in Dalaran. The first note can be found at the top level of curiosities and more. Just sitting on the table here, click it, and it reads, It begins in the 2,104,59, with the most pleasing sign, these letters will not always rhyme. This is slightly cryptic. I assume the way it mentions that they will not always rhyme draws your attention to the 2,104,059. And this is an actual fact, an anagram. Rearrange the numbers and it will give you a date. April the 15th, 2009. The patch that was released on this day was Secrets of Olduar. So, that must be where the next clue is. So the next clue is at XT002 Deconstructor in Olduar. If I was you, pull the boss out of the way onto one of the scrap piles in the corner. That way it will make it a lot less messier in a second. Quick one hit KO and no new toys for him. In the top left corner of the room, there is a new addition, a lever, on top of a Mimran's head. Click it and you'll light up the floor. Not with dance, but with tiny little landing lights. But the only thing landed here is you with the pure skill because no challenge is too hard for you. You can't turn back now, come on. So what you have to do with these lights is create a picture. The picture is of a gear, the symbol of Mimiron, that links to the lever on his head. It's, it's a lever and nothing else but a lever on his head. This picture that is on the screen now shows you which lights you have to turn on to be able to go to the next clue. The grid is of 20 by 20 structure, so there's a fair few lights to switch on. After you've clicked them all, they will all disappear, and in the middle of the room, a note will lay, reading, A thousand years imprisoned. Surely, it wears on the mind. I tell you what, these whole clues wear down the mind. But the only thing that was imprisoned was Kafun. So, off to An Kuraj. Blast your way through the raid until you get to Kafun's imprisonment. Ignore him completely because we've got no time to waste, and make your way to this little room to the side, and on the table there is a mine lava. Click it and you'll be able to play Jewel Craft. Not knowing how many points you have or how many points you need, just keep playing until you win. I tell you what, Candy Crush has prepared me for this moment, I tell you for sure. If you don't know what this is, all you have to do is to match up three or more icons to score points. Click on two that are next to each other to switch them. Once you're done, the next note will appear on the table, and it will read, Deeper than deep awaits your seat. Deep home once again. I just can't stay away. But before we go over there, we need to collect a Shadow Weave Mask. Reason being, if we were to follow Kafun's clue as it is, we'd only have to return to Deep Home once again to get the next clue with the mask straight after. So let's kill two birds with one stone here. So with your mask, head to Deep Home, where we need to go deeper. To the north of Ferrazane's throne, but just a little bit south of that, is a cave. Down the cave over here is a fissure. Accept the warning and fall through. As well as all the players in there, there is a soul chair in the room with a skull sitting on it. Whilst wearing your mask, click the skull to get your next clue. If you're not wearing your mask, it will read a previous clue. Supremacy? Get? Shirk? Eek! Not the best anagram I've seen, but still figures to rack some grief is the key. Raxum Greep is a goblin in Ratchet, and he wears a Shadow Weave mask. Thus is why we have the mask. But with the mask, clicking the skull back in Deep on, we get the clue, where the Shaded Delegate may appear. 
The Shaded Delicate is a reference to a rare spawn in Nomogun called Dark Iron Ambassador. So to Nomogun. Inside, if we just go south to the launch bay, we will come across some levers. Each lever will range from 1 to 9. Now this is where it gets impressive. Reading the instructions, you are given a heap of binary. Solving this binary, we get three battle pet abilities. If we focus on them, they deal specific damage. Fallen Murloc deals 684, Mighty Charge 560, and I Beam 1110. Combined in all of them, we get this long digit. On the instructions, where it says 180, we have to turn the numbers 180 degrees, which flips the number to this. Then, at the bottom, it says plus 111 and one, one, so on and so on. We plus one on all of our numbers, giving you this final code. Input that into all the levers and you've got your next clue. Games and toys are left behind when you awaken screaming. This somehow takes us to Val Sharar, over here in this little house. To the side there is this nightmare tumour. Clicking it will bring up another minigame. What you have to do here is switch the nodes with other nodes to make it so no line is crossing over another. It does not have to be exactly the same as mine, just as long as all the lines are blue. This can take some playing around, but completing it, you'll get the next clue. What you seek is buried within. This clue leads you to Kunlai Summit. In the Tomb of Secret lies an urn. Clicking this, you go into eat someone's ashes, it appears, but rather your character than yourself, eh? Accepting the warning, and here we go. This one can take some time, and it can make some people build up a lot of rage, but if you're methodical about this, you can do it a lot faster than most. For me, it took just over one hour, so it is possible. So, the Endless Halls. It's quite literal. In here, you have to match up orbs to the colour corresponding runes. The orbs can be found on torches by the altar in the centre of the room. But in this maze, there will only be five orbs and five runes. With God only knows how many rooms there are in here, I don't know. The majority of the rooms are, however, empty. Basically, you have to navigate your way through this maze with passages to the north, east, south and west. Some passages may be blocked with rubble. So at this point it might be handy to grab some paper and a pen. Every person's maze is different, so you can't copy other people's maps they have drawn. It can get very messy on paper, so leave yourself plenty of space. Here is a disgrace picture of my map. As you can see, it can be quite confusing. But if you mark it correctly and pinpoint yourself on the map following your location, you can make a quick job of it. There are five colours to find. Purple, blue, red, yellow and green. Mark them on your map too. So if you're holding an orb and see another, you know where, go, where to go back to. But once you've finally done it, exit out of any passage and you'll be directed to some light, let's say. And on the altar is another clue. The way is now open. The greatest secret never told. A fitting end to your journey. This leads us to the Pit of Criminals. This is located deep within the Forgotten Crypts, behind Karazhan. Locate your way through to the big bone pile and on top there should be a chest. If you cannot see this chest, and you've followed these steps, abandon your artifact quests and you should be able to phase right. Whew. We got there in the end. I'm sure it was worth it. Thank you all for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and if you like this video be sure to check out other guides I have listed on this channel. Be sure to watch this space, but for now, take care.